there's lots of stuff, particularly in the HR press, that you know it's not being adopted. That you know adoption isn't going up that quickly, and, and success is, is a is a challenge. It's true to an extent, but actually, if you look at where we were two years ago, I'd say it's it's very different. I mean, the person by Deloitte research that was published before Christmas said that 69% of large organisations now have a people analytics team. And whilst I believe that some of those teams are probably just doing reporting um, at the moment, it shows that the appetite is there. Uh, and the fact that they're called people analytics or HR analytics teams is, is a good sign. And actually there are quite a lot of success stories out there. Um, and as I said, I, you come along to a conference like this and you go into the, the track that is about people analytics and there's 300 people you know, who want to get into the room. If we can create a focus on understanding the employee and helping the employees to grow in, in their roles and in their functions, then I think that we will really move the needle. So if we, don't, if we didn't have the, the very best results in the past, that's where I see the opportunity. Ethics is one, the privacy concerns. Uh, data quality is another and data diversity. So maybe, again, back to the Burson Fine study, the more successful people analytics teams are looking at multiple sources of employee data, not just core HR data and, and traditional things like talent, data from talent acquisition systems. Um, and there is still a problem with capability and credibility of HR in the business when it comes to presenting data and information. Uh, that's still a challenge, I think, for some teams. Um, and then if you look around some of the nuances around that, it probably is occasionally they're working on the wrong problems because they're not identifying the right business problems to work on and maybe not drilling down far enough to understand what the, the real problem and impact of the business is. Um, and then at the, the back end of the store, the back end of it is actually maybe not communicating the findings in a compelling enough way that companies are then taking those forward and acting on. So that's a kind of storytelling element. I think we should be positive rather than negative about um, the growth in the, in the discipline.